So what I'll do here is show you um, Abbey Flexi Capture working properly on some sort of handwritten forms. So as I say, you load images, um, and I've got a Dualit um, kind of sample form here. I'm just going to open that up, um, put three samples in. Alternatively, instead of load, I can scan um, from the desktop edition or um, use the sort of built-in scanning function on the uh, um, networked edition. So what we can see straight away is, is identified as the duality form um, and it says it's ready for verification. So let's multiple select those. This is the kind of thing that your team would do. They would hit run verification and they can see that um, on the lower line here we've got what's actually on the page and on the upper line here we've got its interpretation of it. So the name is Callum Thomas, it had one of the characters wrong. Uh, this is a postcode GU466AL. It's flagging A as it's not it's not sure, but actually it's okay, confirm field. This is wrong. BA9 um, it's made a right old hash of that. So I'm going to show you more about this in a moment. Um, but they would di correct this, J Z, confirm field. Same as this one here, one, two, six, J, Z, confirm field. Telephone number there, that's the written f telephone number. And that's the interpretation, which is very good. Confirm field, same as that one. Now this is an email address. And that's OK. That's an at sign. And that's 28. That's hotmail. Don't be too concerned, I'm going to show you how we can improve on this dramatically uh, in a live environment. Um, that one there, actually, look, the guy's written it really well, and it's actually interpreted it perfectly. So I'm going to click confirm to that. Uh, and this one here, Martin Pierce at me.com, which is actually me. Dot com, it's not too bad. Um, I'll show you this in a moment. It's what I've done. I've rather than um, uh, recognise the postcode in one go, which it didn't do a very good job of. Um, I've recognised, in addition to that, some separate characters, and I've told it, for example, that this has to be a, a letter. So it's saying, I think it's a Z. Is it a Z? Yes, it is. Confirm field. Um, we've got an address field here, um, and that's virtually correct. That's J, confirm field, and we're done. So we've now got, if we go into one of these forms, we can see that um, we've got all of the information that we wanted. Um, Hampshire isn't correct, so we could edit it in the field if we wanted to. And they're kind of, the way that the email address there is set out isn't very nice. We found a kind of checkbox down here, um, and we, which is decaffeinated, and we've interpreted that. Um, but what I wanted to show you is um, on this particular one is that um, we can actually get very good results by recognizing characters in things like postcodes individually rather than as a group, um, and sort of telling the system what to expect. So I told it specifically to expect a number there, and told it specifically to accept a letter there. If we go to this one here, that's that still needs verification. It's got a tick box it's uh, not 100% sure on. If we click into that, it takes us to it and it's absolutely fine. We can click it and say it's OK. Um, so that's it. So actually, it's all about setting the form up. Now, funnily enough, this form was never set up by us for recognition. It was one that Dualit um, themselves set up um, in anticipation of recognition. So the accuracy we can get is, is so much improved if we've designed the form and we tell it where to find the the text and the characters. But hopefully this gives you a better idea of the process. Um, if I was to save that one there now, I'd have all three of those forms will be at export and I can hit the export button and they will be ready to go. Behind the scenes, if I show you this, because it makes a lot more sense now, um, if I'm just going to replace this image with another one, I think number seven is quite a good one. Yeah, if I testing, run test, 
Okay, so can you see here, when we've set the postcode to be read as that box there, and I say up here under postcode that it's effectively, I think, seven characters, I get bag air. But actually down here, when I've individually set out to recognize the characters and given the software a bit of a steer, it's got them spot on. So what up there it's seeing as AIR, down here it's saying as 9JZ. So getting good results from this software is all about um, the setup and the, the kind of verification, the rules behind the scenes. So in one of these forms here, if I go into letter two, which is that one there, the J, and I go into the properties of that, um, what I was doing there is saying that it has to be an A, a B, a C, or a J to meet to meet the samples that I've showed you. Um, so uh, under recognition, we can tell it what type of um, field to expect. So this is where, if we design the form correctly, we have a choice of um, boxes like this or like that or like this. Um, and again, we you know can say that it's it's like this and there's 20 cells. Well. In that case, it's going to be able to find the information a lot more accurate than it's just unconstrained text. So probably what I'm demonstrating here is that with it literally took me 10 minutes to set this up. Within 10 minutes, I'm getting fairly good recognition results um, with a bit of verification. With inside a kind of you know two to three hours per per sort of form, half a day per form, we can get very very good. Uh, recognition results. So I hope that's useful um, and sort of showing you it like this shows you that it's, it's perfectly decent at reading handwritten text provided it's in capital letters like this. Okay, thanks.